Hi everyone, welcome in. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. Is today Wednesday? I don't even know what day of the week it is anymore, but happy Wednesday. I hope you're doing well. Welcome in for a later stream today. We're playing some Dreamlight Valley, if that wasn't um, obvious. <laughs> But I hope you're doing well. Welcome in. Hi, Kaylee. Welcome in. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Um, but yeah, we'll get started in a second. I'm actually going to go into Remy's quickly just to make a couple of meals just to have some um, energy for all of the work we have to take care of today. But I hope, oh, Jesus, look at now he's jumping. Oh my God, that's too funny. He doesn't even fit in the chair. Poor boy. Um, but yeah, hope everyone is doing good. Welcome in. Hi, Elizabeth. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in. Elizabeth, have you had your trip already? Um, have you already gone on your trip to um, the West Coast? I'm not sure if you said the last stream if you've already gone. But if you have, I hope you've had an amazing trip. If not, I hope your trip is going to be amazing. But welcome, welcome. Um, okay, I have a couple of things to make these. But yeah, I hope everyone is doing good. Today is going to be a productive stream because I was watching a bunch of tutorials and things last night and the day before to kind of prepare myself to decorate the valley. So I've been kind of like, you know, getting some furniture ready and I was like looking at tutorials online for like how to decorate the valley, like how to go about starting to decorate your valley and other things like that. Um, so I'm gonna do some quests today. I haven't looked at the new premium shop items. So I want to do that too. Um, and then there's a bunch of stuff you have to take care of. I have a quest I still have to finish with, um, Simba. So we're just gonna do a bunch of stuff today. We're gonna do a bunch of stuff today. I just want to be, I want to be very productive, very productive, get a lot of stuff done. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going next weekend. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Has your your um, order arrived yet from your online uh, your online order that you made last last stream? And if so, did all of the clothing turn out good? Okay, I'm going to quickly go over here. Simba's actually who we need to deal with, but I'm gonna quickly go up here quickly. But um to grab some things but I cleared out my um forgotten lands so that I can start farming some dark wood so I made myself a little mini um tree farm <laughs> based off the tutorial that I saw on YouTube and it's actually working very very well and if you're wondering why I put um concrete underneath or gravel underneath it it's because it's very difficult to see the dark wood with the color of the what's it called this grass so I decided to you know do something quickly like this and it's actually working very very well I've been getting like quite a bit of dark wood like this is how much dark wood I've gotten today and I haven't been playing very much so not too bad not too bad so we just have to repeatedly check on it just repeatedly check on it hi Peter welcome in Yes, I did, and I'm so excited about wearing the spring dresses. Oh, that's so exciting. I hope you have an amazing time on your trip. Enjoy the nice weather. I'm very jealous that you get to spend some time in the sun. It's been, like, decent weather. Today is beautiful here. Today we had, like, I think it was, like, 15 or 16 degrees, which is, I think, in, like, the mid-70s for you guys. Oh. You walked right into the cutscene. <laughs> My bad. I wasn't paying attention to that at all. Okay, um... Let's listen to them, and then we can talk. Simba, 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 I see the dreamlight tree is back. How delightful. <laughs> I imagine congratulations are in order. Just stay away from the tree, Scar. Hey, beast. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't dream of trying anything. Okay. But only because I know it would make Dahlia terribly cross with me. I like how Scar is afraid of us. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Okay, we'll talk to Simba. Hey right. I did not realize that if walking into that area would immediately instigate a cutscene, but okay. Anyways, Dahlia, I wanted to thank you for all your support. You helped me find clues about my past here, and now we have the Dreamlight Tree back. 
I can't wait for the Sunbirds to notice uh, it. And I really think we're on the right track to figuring out what's going on in the valley as soon as the tree mm-hmm. grows. Well, I guess you could say I felt a change in the winds. I'll keep an eye on it to make sure everything goes well, and I'll tell you if anything uh, happens. Uh, See you around. Okay, cool. So we finished that. Sounds good. Oh my god, look at them walking together. <laughs> Y'all got... Oh, Scar's like, I'm done. I'm done. Where is the dream? Where's the dreamlight tree? Oh, it's so pretty. And then we have the dreamlight fruit. Haha, I can finally get some dreamlight fruit. Um, okay, anyways, I got completely distracted there. But yeah, the weather has been like really nice today. I don't know um, how many days this weather is going to stay nice. I don't think it's supposed to be nice again next week, weather wise. So I. I'm going to enjoy the sun as much as I can, even though I literally spent the entire day inside. Um, <laughs> anyway, okay, so we finished that. I didn't actually think that that was going to be a finished quest that quickly, so that's really good. Um, but I want to take care of some quests, but I also really, really, really want to check out the new premium shop items. I'm pretty sure the premium shop is updated. Um, I already went to... Um, Scrooges and got some stuff from thing, but let's see what the new shop items are. Oh, so they brought back, oh, there's two sex, sets of things. They said they were bringing back old stuff. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So you have the Whimsical Blue Companion Pack for 2000 It's a Small World Rainbow Pillar. The Haunted Mansion Bundle. The Big Hero 6 Workshop Bundle. Okay. And then you have the Monsters Inc. Attraction, the Keltoon National Park Fountain, the Balloon Basket, which is something I wanted, and the Junior Wilderness Explorer Backpack. Oh, that is so cute. I didn't know they had that item in the game. That's adorable. Okay, I'm not going to grab anything yet. I just wanted to see what this stuff is. That's really cute. That is really, 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 really cute. Okay, I like that. And I'm waiting to do the next um, dream snap challenge because I have not done the dream snaps for the last like couple of times. So, which is why I have no moonlight uh, or moonstones. So that's unfortunate. But anyways, okay. Happy to see some good stuff in there. I know I saw like a bunch of people leaking like stuff that was going to be brought back, and then they saw stuff on the trailer. So I had like a general idea of what this new week was gonna be but it's cute it's cute i didn't get anything from the last one realistically nothing really appealed to me so um yeah let's do the rest of the buzz quest and then in between doing quests today i want to grab a lot of materials and start doing some organizing um as i've mentioned in previous dreamlight valley streams i really need to organize my oh, stuff so many dreams um true. also i need to pick these pumpkins i do have way more star coins than when you last saw me about half a million i had almost a million and then i bought a bunch of stuff so <laughs> that went down very very quickly i'm gonna grab um actually let's do the thing for buzz first and then i have to grab someone to help me pump um pick the pumpkins because i want to get more basically every single character in dreamlight valley for me has the garden friendship level uh point because I did not realize that you have the ability to like alter what they help you with so um yeah every single one of them has the thing where is this thing I'm supposed to be crafting for for buzz buzz oh my thing is on low battery okay we'll charge that in a second I'll probably just switch over to my um oh okay so I need glass for him so we need to go get sand. <laughs> I should probably have done this already. It's fine. Okay, let's go quickly over to Dazzle Beach. Let me switch over to my Joy-Cons from my Pro Controller. Just so it doesn't die on midstream. There we go. Hang on. Are we reconnected? We're good to go. This is the Switch that has the really drifty Joy-Cons, but thankfully I don't get a lot of drift on Dreamlight Valley when I play it. It's usually for more so for like Animal Crossing, so we should be fine. And then earlier, it was like, it was like two or three days ago, I was playing 
um, and I was working on um, one of the star path things that ask you to build the Zen garden and you need 200 pieces of sand and 100 pieces of stone and 100 pieces of rock. So I had to dig up sand for like 30 minutes to get more sand and it's funny too because I even had like I had Ariel help me because she has like the help with the like digging you get more items with digging so it didn't take as long as it could have but it didn't take a short period of time either it was like a very tedious task so I was actually debating even streaming that night and I'm like oh I'm not gonna be doing anything exciting and it's true I didn't do anything exciting but it definitely would have been <laughs> less time consuming if I had simply like or probably time would have passed easier if I was streaming while doing it but it's fine it's fine it's fine but I'm debating so like I said earlier I'm debating what my first build in my valley should be and obviously the easy answer is either do like an inside build in my house or do the valley like start with the valley like the plaza but like I don't know if I want to start with my plaza because I'm kind of intimidated because it's such like I feel like it's an area that should be really structured and I don't know how well I'm gonna be at doing structured builds for Dreamlight Valley because I've been watching like a bunch of people post like their tips for decorating for for their valleys and stuff and I got some like really helpful tips a lot of people are saying like your best bet is to like clear off as much as you can like get rid of a lot of like the natural things except for stuff that you like enjoy in the area that you just want to keep but they say starting with pathing and then sectioning off areas especially for like the plaza and other spots like that that are a little bit more structured is definitely a very good tip um i can't i think it was probably underscore senpai i think that was the youtube channel i was watching that gave that that recommendation and it's actually a very good, um, a very good tip, and it's definitely something I could probably see myself using as, like, especially for, like, my, like, the more structured areas. I think for more natural areas, like my beaches, like the beach areas, and then, like, the glittering dunes for the aisle, and, like, even, like, an area like this to me seems a lot more natural than, like, an area up here, because I feel like the... I don't know, this area is so square that I feel like it's meant to... I definitely think I need to use pathing to decorate this area, but we'll see. We'll see what I do. We'll see what I do. You should do your house. I think doing an in inside build will be a lot easier for sure, so it might be one of the first things that I do. But I kind of want to give myself, like, the, the... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, the challenge of trying to decorate outside for my first build and just see how it goes because if it doesn't go well then at least like I tried you know and then we can kind of go from from there but we'll see we'll see hi Becca welcome in and hi Gracie how are you both doing I hope you're doing well welcome in welcome in okay what do I need for buzz I thought I had everything crap the space ranger ship where is the space ranger ship in here space ranger ship so it's probably not in functional items. I figured it'd be in furniture. Here it is. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my god. And I saw a lot of people um, for decorating for Buzz's house. Like he has an RV. They gave him like a campsite area. And I think that's so cool. Um, so that's what I'm definitely going to be probably doing for his house. I just have to like. I'm probably going to move it to like the Forest of Valor. Or like the Glade. Um, I had to do some, like, brainstorming about where things were going to go. And obviously we have to do a lot of moving around for, like, the houses and everything. Um, which is, which is going to be fun. It's going to be, it's going to be a challenge. I feel like so many people are so good at, like, figuring out how to structure areas for, like, their villagers' houses. Like, the characters. How do you do this? How do you figure this out? I'm lurking while I make dinner. Enjoy your dinner. What are you making? What are you making, if you don't mind sharing? I had a burger and some poutine for for dinner, and it was very good, actually. And I haven't really been in the eating food mood the last couple of days, because I've been feeling like absolute garbage, because I've been on my period, not to overshare. Um, so it's been nice to actually get to eat something that didn't make my stomach turn. You're there. 
you know. Oh, Buzz is right here. Hi, Buzz. How you doing? Wait, can I get like a close up of him? Don't run away. Don't run away, please. Love God. This is what I get. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why is he running away? Hello. <laughs> Why did he run away? Oh my God. Okay, thank you so much for that. Uh, using stream as a vacuum podcast. Happy to be of assistance. I'm glad I can keep you company as you do the worst chore in the world. Actually, okay, I don't know if vacuuming is the worst chore in the world or if um, doing laundry is the worst chore. They're both horrible. I don't like either of them. Um, nice work, cadet. Now let's hop in and head out on patrol. Or I made this base ranger ship to your specification, so it's kind of small. It's going to be a tight squeeze for me. Ah, uh, yes, I see how that could be a problem. Also, you're not exactly ready for an official space ranger's duties yet. Before we do anything else, you're going to need a proper uniform. I understand Scrooge McDuck is in charge of commerce around here. I suggest you speak to him. But I'm wearing such a cute outfit. Which, by the way, have you guys seen my outfit today? Look at this. Hang on. Let me do a little zoom in. Look how cottage core I am. Look how freaking cute I am. How do I change the camera mode? Look how cute. Look how cute. I look adorable. I look so cute. He wants me to change into an ugly outfit. Fine. Fine. I got this hat the other day and I'm like, oh my god, this is such a cottage court. I need more dresses. I have no dresses in this game other than like the ball gowns. So I need like more casual dresses. Like something more like I can wear like every day. I feel like I don't have a lot of clothes. <laughs> in this game and other than like the two main thingies that they give you in like the display windows they don't give you good clothes like i bought the thing that was here today whatever that was but like i don't want the chest outfit and i don't want the pants and i know you're supposed to buy things to get more things but i don't want these things you know i, I just i get frustrated i get frustrated there's no variety no variety. I've gotten like a few of the things that were here today. The thing that made me the most excited and that, so I've been starting to like reset my, um, my scourges to get items that like I prefer. And the reason I chose this day is because there was the leaf pile rug here and I can use the leaf pile rug as an outdoor decorating item on like pathing and stuff. Another like oh, tip I saw Steve. people talk about on line so i will be i will be that's like 80 percent of the reason i chose today because like honestly nothing else was really that exciting that i had in shop today hi dahlia what do they need today i need to requisition a spade ranger uniform it is essential for my new role as a oh. cadet that's a tall order dahlia i haven't gotten anything like that in my regular inventory you're better off wishing on a star, of course, for the right price. And if you bring me the materials, I'm sure I can make you something that'll do the trick. Why? First, you'll need to make some navy blue dye. For that, you'll need blue falling uh, pest mm, pestimens, some blueberries, and coal. Okay, I'll get some navy blue dye. What else? In addition to the navy blue dye, I'll need some fiber, softwood, and topaz to pay for my services. Of I'm course. Of course. Why is this guy so obsessed with rubies? Like, he needs gems of, like, all times. I'm making cookies for dinner. I see nothing wrong with that. That is delicious, and I hope you enjoy your cookies. I hope you enjoy them. What kind? You're making me jealous. I would love some cookies right now. I'm probably going to get myself a little snack in a bit. I literally ate dinner at, like, 6 p.m., and it's now 7, so, or 7.30 almost. So it's not like I haven't eaten, um, but I'm going to go get myself... A little snack in a bit and I also only have water right now I'm gonna go get myself a little energy drink in a second just so we have you know the um, what's the word the energy to <laughs> stream for a couple of hours um, okay let's get rid of some stuff here I know I said I'm like okay no we're gonna keep the dream light fruit I don't want to get rid of any of that um, I know I said oh Dala, I'm gonna keep everything I can get rid of like my fish this is just stuff we got from Moana's boat so, I don't need any of this. Okay, review, review. Get rid of all of these. I think I need the blue falling persimmon. Persimmon. Pers so how do you pronounce that, that flower? This I don't even know how to pronounce that. Um, I'm going to reorganize. Okay, blue falling persimmons. Pestimelons. 
however you pronounce that. Okay, where can I get those? Um, wrong one. Where can I find you? Foraging. Blue falling. They're in the plaza. Okay, so I need three of those. I already have the coal. I already have the blueberries. And we have to make an empty vial. So we'll do that as well. Chocolate chip. Ooh, jealous. Jealous. They're the best. They're the best kind. They're the best kind. Adalia is pretty late for me, so I can't stick around. But I came by to say I hope you had a great stream. Thank you, Alice. I hope you have a great rest of your night. And I'll probably be streaming tomorrow during the day, too. So hopefully you'll get a chance to drop in for, like, more of a daytime stream for you. But I hope you have a great rest of your night. And thank you so much for dropping in to say hello. I hope you're doing good. And I haven't been streaming much during the day lately, and it's literally because I am a lazy person. And I spend my day not doing anything. <laughs> Actually, today I was pretty productive. I had other things I had to do. Um, and then I was supposed to originally not stream today. I was supposed to stream tomorrow. But then I was supposed to have plans tomorrow. But then at last minute, the plans got canceled. So now I'm free tomorrow, so I might as well stream tomorrow. I'm also free Friday too. I don't have work this week. Have I mentioned that my job is not giving me any shifts? So I'm here. I'm here to do streaming. I'm also working on my first build for my western, um, abandoned western town, which if you guys remember, I do have an island that I'm currently working on, even though I haven't posted a video for it yet. Um, but that's in the works. So I was working on that a little bit last night and I didn't get that far into it. Like I'm working on my entrance because of course that's how I always start my islands and it's coming along. It's coming along. Like it probably won't be ready until next week. Um, but I am working on content. And then on Friday, not Friday, Saturday, if you guys remember, we're doing a, um, wine night stream at like, I think seven or 8 PM Eastern standard time. So it is quite late for like people on the other side of the world. But it'll be like evening time for me. And I was going to do a little bit earlier. But I actually have my cousin's baby's birthday during the day. Which I actually completely forgot until yesterday. So I have plans during the day. So depending on what time I get home from that. We might be able to stream a little bit earlier. But we'll be doing our wine night. And we'll be doing a reset stream for my Jungle City Island. So we have two new brand, brand new islands. Even though I'm not doing much Animal Crossing right now. But... Doing a little bit of Animal Crossing, you know? A little bit of Animal Crossing, a little bit of Dreamlight Valley, some other content. If you guys saw my Discord post, um, I have a video going up on Friday for another game that I recently started playing that I want to do like a, a Let's Play um, playthrough series on. So I'm very excited for that too. And there's, there's other stuff coming, other stuff coming, you know? My days are usually lazy, and then around 9, uh, 5 p.m. I get a huge boost of energy and motivation. That's me. That's me always. <laughs> That's me on days even when I am busy. I'm low on energy, and then like 6, 7 p.m. comes around, and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Okay, we need the empty vial. Let me just make that while the flowers respawn, because I don't see any more blue flowers around here, so I'll have to wait a second for them to respawn. And these are purple. The purple and the blue are too close in color. It's really annoying, like, because they look exactly the same. Um, Friday, are you starting an island? Friday, no, Saturday, yes. It's on the 16th, which is the Saturday. So that night we'll be starting a new island, which I already know the theme for. I don't know the name of the island yet. So right now I'm currently in the process of brainstorming um, what my island name is going to be. What do I need for it? Glass, right? Yeah. Oh, we need... <laughs> I need more, um, sand. Okay, back to Dazzle Beach. I should have spent, like, an hour, like, farming for, for sand. And then just craft everything into glass. And then I have, like, a hundred pieces of glass just at my disposal at all times, you know? I love how this is how you have to farm for sand. Like, I'm, at least I'm grateful it gives you, like, a couple pieces at a time. Like, if this was just one piece, one piece, one piece, I'd probably go insane. But at least it gave us three pieces. 
I'm so excited for your Western Island. It sounds so cool. Thank you. I'm excited for how it's going to turn out. I have to do a little bit more brainstorming about like the builds and how everything is going to be kind of laid out because I want this build, this island to be different than what I've previously done in terms of like structure. I want to go into this knowing exactly what my villagers are going to be, what their houses are going to be because I'm going to be decorating interiors too. I think a lot of interior builds and some villager home builds are going to be streaming. Um, builds, we'll see. Um, but I'm not like a 100% sure yet. But I'm still like deciding like how much is going to be stuff I show you guys on video or how much stuff I stream. Because I miss decorating on stream. I just feel like I always constantly have to go to like treasure islands to get things. So for me, it's just like such a like hassle streaming when I don't have all the f items and stuff I need, if that makes sense. I'm also supposed to be taking a break from Animal Crossing, so <laughs> the thought that I'm, like, essentially starting two new brand new islands in, like, the same time is, like, kind of counterintuitive to what I said I was gonna do. But I haven't been playing much Animal Crossing, like, except for yesterday and, like, a couple days ago. I haven't honestly Everything touched Animal so Crossing in probably, fun. like, a week and a half, two weeks. Except for when um, I recorded, like, my final dream address for my other island. What's the new theme? So I'm not going to say exactly what the theme is yet, because I want it to be a little bit of a surprise. But it is going to be a summer theme island. Like, it's going to take place in the summer. Because I want to get ahead of the season, and I want to finish a island by the time the season is. So I'm hoping by starting a summer island in March, I can hopefully have it finished by, like, july or august <laughs> that is the dream that is what i'm hoping but it is going to be a summer it's going to be based in the summer so i still have some like thinking to do about the name and once the name is kind of like solidified then i'll have like the theme based down but i always want my theme and my name to match well so i always struggle with names i'm really bad at coming up with names for my islands then that's another reason why I was kind of excited to take a little bit of a break from Animal Crossing is because my creativity juice was kind of like just drained in terms of AC so I wanted a little bit of a time away to kind of like reintroduce myself to thinking about like some fun names and, and creativity and stuff. Oh I love gosh, coming up to characters and seeing them talk today. to each other. It's so cute. Okay, I hope I have enough sand. We should be good now. I need to brainstorm a new island, too. I hit three stars, but now I'm taking a break to plan. Ooh, do you know what your new theme is going to be? Because I know you said you restarted your, um... I know you finished your, your last island recently. Okay, glass. How many... I could make one piece of glass with that? That was ridiculous. I thought I had more than... Enough. Okay. Hope maybe the... Things have respawned. Ooh, is that a blue? Is that purple? The colors look too close to the same for me. Nope, that was purple. Rude. Okay, let's just grab these so we can get new spawns. Ooh, that's blue. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so we have that. Good, 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 good. Um, craft some navy blue dye. Okay. Hi, Rico. Welcome in. Oh my god, I'm really excited for that. I need ideas to start one. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fun island. I've gotten a lot of inspo from some things I've seen online that um are like a lot different than like previous themes I've done. I always say that. I always say like, oh, this theme is so different than what I've used to do. It's not that crazy different. I have done summer islands before, but this one I think has a very fun twist on it. So I'm I'm very looking forward to. Oh, there's another blue one right here. Um. I'm really looking forward to, to starting an island. And honestly, my last couple of islands have all been winter and fall islands. So I haven't done a, um, a summer or a spring island in a while. Also, sorry, I'm not looking at the screen. <laughs> I look away for one second. And my thing is like, oop, nope, okay, I pressed the wrong button. Naming islands is my favorite part. It's one of my favorite parts, but I get overly, like, critical. Not critical. Like, I get, like, panicked if I can't think of a good name. <laughs> like, I was really happy with the name that I came up for for my western island. Because I'm like, oh my god, Tumbleweed. That is such a cute name for, like, a western 
island and it kind of gives the illusion of like the abandoned vibe that I wanted to bring to the island so that one was honestly quite easy to think of it was the reason I chose to do western town but now I'm like okay summer and then also thinking of like the new the theme theme that I'm like thinking and putting into account like what kind of name would match like what I'm thinking of you know because there's so many names because if you choose the wrong name you can't change it which we obviously all know already but it's still annoying and it's not something I like to think about the fact that Animal Crossing is like such a restrictive game like even like playing this game compared to like animal crossing like i see just how much you can do in terms of like the decorating and like just all the furniture and everything that's accessible like i don't know it's annoying i feel like animal crossing is just a very limited game now now that we've played it for so long i just feel like there's so much potential but it was kind of left to, it was kind of left to die <laughs> By the developers. They went, yeah, we're done. We're done. My theme is a winter nighttime fairy core, but I don't really have any build ideas besides flowers and glowing stuff. I mean, you have, you have, sometimes it's just about, nope, I need these. Perfect. I don't even need to fish for more. Um, I think we ran out of time. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get to that one. No. The timeout limit for some of these things is actually ridiculous. Also, Rapunzel pulling out her easel is still so funny for me. <laughs> yeah, I like the neat the idea for a nighttime fairy core. I think that's really really pretty. And like you could use like the junk the the glowing moss items and stuff and make it like really whimsical and pretty. And I love nighttime islands. I feel like not enough people do nighttime. Um, Islands. Everyone's like intimidated, and then you're like, "Well, you can't see my builds and stuff." Only like, that's where you use lighting. You can use so many different types of lighting. Like, there's so many different options. You can use street lamps. You could use, um, you could use candles. You can use the glowing moss items. It's just, I think it's a very, very versatile um, idea. I will never miss a Dolly stream. Thank you, Rika. I still feel like we will get a new game. Oh, we're definitely going to get a new game. The question is when. The question is when. I feel like I've come to realize I am a very, very patient person when it comes to um, waiting for things, considering like some of the TV shows and movies and stuff that I watch. The time between each one is getting progressively longer and longer and longer, and it's just stressing me out. <laughs> um, but what can you do? Oh, hey, I needed you. Hello. Here's the items. Take everything. Take all of this. I was very lucky. We already had topaz, apparently. I realized I didn't even grab a topaz for him. He must have just had it in our pocket. Uh, well, bless me bagpipes, a topaz, just as asked. Thank you, Dahlia. Now let me work my magic. And here it is. One Space Ranger uniform straight from the Touch of Magic machine in my shop. Thank you. Oh my god, what the hell am I supposed to be wearing? What am I supposed to be wearing? What is this? Thank you, Mr. My dog. My pleasure. Eric, don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm putting on an ugly outfit. Don't look. I'm looking so cute, too. Oh, this is very sad. Okay, let's change. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, well, at least I'm still wearing my dress. I guess. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Dow, you look ready to take on any threat to the galaxy. Do you feel as heroic as you look? Uh, <laughs> yes, I feel like I'm part of a real Stark fan. Sure. That's because you are cadet, at least the version of it we're creating here. Thanks to your enrollment, there's something, um, there's someone to hold down the command post while I go on my first patrol. I'll let you know if I encounter anything suspicious. Okay, you're welcome. Can I take this off now? <laughs> oh no. I don't want to wear this anymore. Okay, let me put my cute hat back on. Where's my cute hat? Look how cute my hat is. Also, I need more fairy wings. The only fairy wings I have are these ones. 
which are pretty, but they don't go with my dress. And then, like, these ones, which are the cardboard wings, and then the thorny wings, which are kind of cute, but, like, I need more variety. I need a more variety. I don't think I was wearing a thing. I'm pretty sure I wasn't. This is cute. This is cute. Okay. Now, let me finish this one. Let's go to our next quest. What else do I have to do? Use the time best bedding table. Oh, that's something that we can do later. Um, find the Glade Trust Fragment by searching at midday. It is evening time. You cannot do that right now. Um, but more quests are available through these guys. Vanellope is a new quest available. Go talk to her. Let's do Vanellope's quest. Why not? Let's go find her. Uh, Vanellope. Ooh, she's in the bottom left corner. She's right here. I love Vanilla B. She's so cute. Hello. I really hope we get Ralph, too. I feel like we, we need to, to get him. One thing I forgot about was freaking tarantulas. Oh, yeah. No, that'd be definitely a downside of decorating um, a nighttime island for sure. Um, when the new Switch comes out. That is, I feel like it's probably at least going to be about a year after the Switch comes out. So we probably won't get a Animal Crossing new game probably at least until 2025-2026 um considering the new switch is supposed to come out this year right like at the end of this year i think um hey dolly can i talk to you there's something weird about this place what do you mean weird i mean weird like peanut brittle with raisins weird uh what's weird about it everyone just does whatever they want all the time there's no arcade opening clocks power outages lag times wi-fi reboots nothing unexpected there's actually a lot of lag time <laughs> considering i'm playing dream life valley on the switch um what kind of life is that i've already found all the cool dangerous stuff what am i supposed to do for excitement now um get a hobby <laughs> I see what you're thinking, and I do like trying new stuff. Why don't I show you some of the other village, what the other villagers do for fun? Maybe you'll find something you like. Sure, I mean, what have I got to lose, right? Do you want to hang out right now? Yeah, let's hang out. <laughs> okay. She's so cute. I love Vanellope. Okay, Vanellope. Alright, show Vanellope some valley hobbies. Mine gems, catch fish, plant crops, and harvest any crops or fruit. Okay, let's start by, I guess, doing the gems, just because that's the easiest. I'm eating pasta with sausage and tomato. Yum. Very good. Very good. I am noticing new Animal Crossing stuff in stores. I am too. Like the, there's like a lot of collabs and stuff that are coming out. And like, obviously we have the, the Lego and stuff too. One thing I'll say about the Lego, it's a very cute idea. I wish they put a little bit more detail into it and in that the the Lego um, displays were like, I don't know, a little bit more fun. And that you got to choose what character came with which one. Because I really want the Marshall one, but I don't want the one with like the cap and the dock. So like, I'm also not going to be spending the money on it right now, but like hypothetically I could easily get it. Wait, mine any gems? What do you mean? Oh, I had to actually mine the gems. Okay, cool. I'm like, why isn't this working? Okay, okay but... We actually have to get, like, a proper gem. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, I just wish there was more, like, thought put into it. I feel like it's a very basic Animal Crossing collaboration. I feel like it could have been, I don't know, something a little bit more creative could have been put into it. And also, um, same thing with, like, um, I'm gonna go, what's it called? Build-A-Bear. I felt like Build-A-Bear, they should have ext extended the amount of, like, characters that they offer. Like, I like the idea, obviously, of, like, Isabel and Tom Nook, but I feel like there could have been... They would have made a lot more money if they had more characters offered. Like, NPCs and, like, some fan favorites. Like, if they had chose, like, six fan favorites of, like, regular characters. So, like, Marshall, Raymond, uh whatever and then have done like a couple of npcs like celeste flick etc i feel like that would have been like more beneficial than just doing basic tom nook and isabel i don't know but yeah definitely more collabs like it's not like it's a it's like a, a, a thing that is disappearing like animal crossing is still very much around 
but it's also kind of weird that they decided to come out with a Lego game for a game that came out in 2020 and now it's 2024. Like the timelines don't really match up. I feel like they were probably intending to do a Lego collab much earlier and then it just didn't work out for whatever reason or they postponed it. Because I feel like that would have been really, really, really popular like in 2021 or 2022 even. And even though people are buying it, like I feel like it's not getting as much traction as it could have if it came out like a couple years ago. You know what I mean? Because I've seen like a ton of people buy it and like are loving it and I think it's really cute. But yeah, I definitely think that it's something that I'm surprised it took them this long to come out with it. Unless that that's them hinting to us like, oh, a new Animal Crossing game is like possibly in the works or something i don't know i'm just speculating just speculating okay let's grab this one one thing i had to do for the star path like one of the duties was catch the fugu fish that like the the big fish the like the bubble fish that that puffs up that you can only catch in the rain on Dazzle Beach. Do you know how long it took me to catch those fish? I and I even used potions to get like the red um to get like better fish and it still took me like so long that I thought that the, the rain was gonna stop and the problem with the last couple times I try to catch it is that every time I go to catch it by the time I find red um circles the um rain has stopped which is like depressing because like sometimes I'll play this game and it'll rain for like a good hour, a good two hours. And then other times it's like five minutes and it's gone. And it's ironic that the one time I needed it to rain a lot longer. It's like, no, you want sunshine, right? Like, no, 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 I don't. No, I do not. Okay, let me eat some food. And then it said we had to farm some um, pot, like fruit and vegetables. So let's just get rid of all the pumpkins we have here. We might as well. Do I have a lot of inventory space? I don't. I'm actually going to quickly go sell some of the stuff we just grabbed. Just to get this stuff out of the way. And then, actually, hang on. Let me quickly put my sticks and stuff away. I want all of this stuff safely put away just so I don't accidentally sell it. This is the stuff I can't put away. I need to make a bigger chest specifically for materials. That is something I want to do today for sure. Um, okay, okay. We're good for there. Let me just reorganize eat this. Okay. Let's do all of this. I'm pretty sure that Vanellope also has the farming thing. Yeah, she does. Okay, cool. Um, because obviously I wanted to get as many pumpkins as we possibly can. It's funny, I have like close to a million um... At one point, I had close to a million... What the heck is happening? I had close to a million star coins, and then I was watching someone else post about Dreamlight Valley the other day, and they had 14,000 or 14 million star coins, and they're like, I have no star coins. I need to quickly mine for here and there fish, and I'm like, how do you not have any star coins? Have you seen... Me and you are very two different people. Also, please ignore my dog barking in the background. I don't know why she's barking, but I'm just going to ignore her. Barking for a very specific reason, I'm sure. I'm a very loud, obnoxious old dog. I'm gone from my vacation now. I hope you had a good trip. I also really hope you guys can't hear my dog barking. You probably can. I think we've had this debate like many times. Sometimes you can hear her, sometimes you can't. I can't hear her through my headphones, but I can't tell if that's because I can only hear myself talking. But I don't know why she's barking. I don't know what is going on. My family is downstairs right now, so 
something about them, I'm sure. It's crazy, like, how many pumpkins you can get from that. So far, we've gotten 227. Come on, Vanellope, help me out. Thank you. And then these are four each or nine each, depending on what she digs up, which is really good. I need to get tons more. I need to plant more pumpkins. We'll do that in a second. After we finish Vanellope's um, quest. And we're done. <laughs> Unless Vanellope wants to give us a couple more. Thank you for the one more pumpkin. I appreciate that. Okay, so we're done that. And then we have to plant crops. You have to plant 30. We might as well plant the pumpkins. Let's just go grab some more. Uh, so we'll go take care of that. Cute dog barks. Yes, she has a very, very cute old lady bark. I can hear or someone walking by. Either someone's walking by or, like, my mom was supposed to go out to her friend's place. So maybe she got picked up. That could have been that. I'm not sure. Could be one of the two or could have been my sister leaving because I know my sister is going out as well. So... Who knows, when you have like a group of family members all hanging out downstairs, there could be ample amount of reasons. My dog barks at her own shadow. Let's just do the 30. And can I sell my pumpkins? I also need to start storing some pumpkins. I have like, I think like 200 in storage right now, which is still good. Cause they're good for, um, what's it called? Like, um, Decorating because I know you need some for certain types of decor So I'm gonna keep them obviously for safekeeping Can I get rid of these even though her and I are still on the quest together? Okay, good I panicked for a second because it had like the thing for the quest lit up and I'm like can we Get rid of those stuff or no is she older? She is she's 14 in two months and she's a Bijan Shih Tzu, if you guys are wondering. But yeah, her birthday was back in January. And she's an old lady now. But she's actually very healthy for her age, which is really good. Okay, the way that the crop is, like, cutting into my dress is <laughs> really weird. This is a very uncomfortable... This is an area, but this is fine. I probably should have grabbed more pumpkins. I don't know why I didn't grab the amount that I need, but it's okay. Also, like I said, uh, debating like what I'm going to do for my valley and stuff. A lot of people have seen just turn their peaceful meadow into like a giant crop farm, like a giant like area for all of their crops. And I honestly think that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be creative at all. Like I'll probably do some like cute areas, but ultimately I think that is probably going to be the best. Because I don't have like an actual farm area right now. I literally just make one whenever I need crops. And I've been like doing a ton of pumpkins the last couple days just to get myself some extra money. <laughs> I think that would be a very good idea. The Lion King area looks exactly like an area from the Lion King game I had back when I was a kid. I think it's PS1 or PS2, if anyone remembers that. That's so cute. I'm glad that they, they brought that back or that they found inspiration from that. Even I'll be. That's it. That's what you do for fun around here. I got news for you, chum. Those aren't games. They're hobbies at best and work at worst. Um, that's a little harsh. Hey, I just call them like I see them. We tried things your way. Now we'll try them mine. I have just invented a mind-blowing game i hid something somewhere in the valley and you have to come find me do you mean hide and seek that game already exists oh, please this isn't some kind of kids game this is extreme i'm gonna pick the darkest most dangerous spots in the valley uh sounds like fun i'm in yes i knew i could count on you dahlia let's play you go inside somewhere so i can hide maybe try mr mcduck's shop and don't forget to count to 10 okay guess we're gonna do that now <laughs> I love how she says she's gonna go hide in like the darkest part of the valley, which is probably gonna be the Forgotten Lands. And there's nowhere to hide in the Forgotten Lands now because I got rid of everything. Hashtag I'm misspelling. I always do that. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Fun Vanellope 
in a dark and dangerous hiding spot. Optional, ask villagers for hints about Vanellope's hiding spot as Nala, Mickey Mouse, and Mirabelle. Um, let's try to find her without asking the other villagers. And also, we have to count to ten. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm also a very fast counter for hide and seek. I don't care. Penelope speaking truth. It's true. You can't deny it. I feel like all these cozy games just ask you to do, like, real-life tasks that you would never actually do in real life. But because... It's a video game where you're not actually moving anywhere. You're like, but it's different. It's different. It's fine. Okay, let's go. I'm assuming she's here because where else would she be? Dark and dangerous. Like what else is dark and dangerous other than the Forgotten Lands? But where would she be in the Forgotten Lands considering it's completely empty? <laughs> Unless she's in, like, a cave. Somewhere. Okay, she's clearly not here. And Emmy is- my dog is still barking. I have no idea why she's barking. I'm not gonna go find out. Okay, she's clearly not in the Forgotten Lands. Maybe she's in the cave over here? Let's go check. Doesn't hurt to look. Otherwise, we'll go ask some of the. Not the villagers, the characters. What am I supposed to call them? I call them villagers because it's like Animal Crossing to me. Same kind of concept. I'm assuming she's in here. Yep, follow the candy trail inside the mines to find Vanellope. Yeah, here's the candy. <laughs> That is so cute. Oh my goodness. Is she over here? Yep. Is she over here? No. Okay, she's down below in the tunnel. wonder how many other people who played this the first time also thought that she's possibly in the uh, Forgotten Lands. Because to me that is a scary and creepy place. Like, it's literally the entire ambiance is like creepy and scary. Also, do we ever get this part of the thing unlocked, or like, is that not a thing? Penelope, where are you? I don't think she's in here. No. Did I miss her? Penelope. Okay, she's obviously this way. <laughs> But where is she? Wait. More candy? Oh. It's a rock. Okay, clearly I missed her at some point. But where did she go? <laughs> you head indoors. Da -da 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 -da, yeah. So she has to be inside here somewhere, but where?
Unless she's back towards the entrance. She's not in here. This has nothing to do with Vanellope. This is a part of the Nala storyline, I'm pretty sure. I'm clearly, like, easily missing her, and I'm just, like, really dumb. But where could she be? Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, my God. You found me. Nice work, my friend. Bet you picked up on all of that candy I spilled, huh? You picked a great hiding spot. I know, right? This place is so cool. It inspires me to go back to my roots. My racing roots, of course. <laughs> Let's right to the outside entrance of the mines. I bet I can beat you even on foot. On your mark, get set, race. Oh, no. She's going to beat me. I went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely beating me. It's just the camera angles in this area is like so difficult to get around. Yeah, she beat me for sure. <laughs> yep, she beat me. Dang. I went the wrong way. I am almost never in this area. Do not get mad at me for not knowing which direction I'm supposed to go in. In the future, I'll get two dogs and one cat. Very nice. I like cats too. I'm unfortunately allergic, but I do like cats. We can talk to Vanellope. Who knew racing without wheels could be so fun? Yes, that was awesome. So glad you agreed, chum. Now, we need one more game to round out my mini game gauntlet. I think you'll like this one. We're gonna play extreme fishing. Bring it, I'm a pro angler. Bro angler was a great fishing sim in the arcade. Not as cool as Super Fast 3000, but pretty challenging. You play any fishing games? Not even a little. Here's the rules. The game starts as soon as you leave the mine. You only have to three minutes to catch three fish. Your goal is to convince me that the fish can, fishing can be fun. Got it? Let's go. Now get out there and fish extremely. I'll tell you when your time is up, okay? Where's the water in here? Oh, it's over here. Oh my god. Okay. I can hopefully catch three fish in, th in three minutes. That shouldn't be too hard. But there's one. See, my issue is angles. I'm really, like, terrible at angling my character. <laughs> also, hi, Nala. How are you? Okay. Good. Two. Nope. Nope. There. <laughs> also, where is uh, Vanellope? I'm guessing she's just standing by the mine. Good. I wish there was an actual counter. Like, I feel like it's not as climatic if you don't have, like, an actual, like, counter telling you how long you have. Also, where is Vanellope? Why does my characters all keep leaving? Like, why do they all keep disappearing on me? Uh, ba ba ba. Where'd she go? Oh. Why are you walking towards Dazzle Beach? Okay, let's go get her, I guess. I hate when NPCs in games will ask for something as I'm running away from them. LOL, I always feel bad. <laughs> I'm always like, sorry, I'm too busy. I got stuff to do. And then I'm chasing after them. This is the one thing characters in this game seem to do a lot, is run away from you. Hi. You did it. Gotta say I'm impressed. And extreme fishing actually looked fun. You should try it sometime. Oh, I will. And now I'm gonna try and make that other boring stuff extreme too. Gotta hand it to you, Dahlia. You tackle my mini games like a chew tramp. Thanks for showing me it's important to make my own fun. I bet there's lots of ways we could game up the valley. I'll come find you whenever I think of something next. Cool. Thank you. My that buddy was Shay interesting. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let me go get rid of the stuff that we got already. 
to sell a bunch of things. And then I'm going to do some um, material getting. I'm going to make that large chest because I'm pretty sure I have enough dark wood to make a large chest. And then we can take, a, take care of some organization. No, I want to sell stuff. Good to see you. No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to your stall. Goodbye. Browse. There we go. Hey there. Sell. I'm going to sell you. 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 I should start really keeping the clams and oysters and stuff because I've needed them for quests and I had to spend like 20 minutes grinding for them. But I don't really care. Oh, this also, a second ago, my Joy-Con did glitch, so please don't lag. Please don't drift. I do not need that right now. Alright, I'm gonna go back to my house quickly and re boost my energy. I'm actually gonna go away for a second, or I'm gonna step away for a second just to go quickly get myself an energy drink. Um, I'm not tired, but I do need a little bit of energy, so I'll be back in just a second. I'm back. Okay, I got myself a drink. Let me just open it. I started drinking Celsius's because now they're available in Canada. And I have the sparkling orange flavor, which is actually pretty good. Okay. Got that. I started grabbing my Pro Controller. That is not what we're currently using. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. I'm going to quickly go back to... Actually, let's just do this instead. I wonder what's quicker, doing this or actually just walking to the Forgotten Lands. I feel like either way, it's about the same. But, go to the Forgotten Lands, get myself more of the dark wood. I think I saw online it takes like 30 minutes to an hour to respawn all the dark wood. And that you get like a 60, 40 in terms of like the, this, the dry wood versus dark wood. 
so you're always going to get more dry wood than dark wood but still i'm getting so much more dark wood than i was before so i will take it as a win i'm sad that i had to get rid of all my trees but honestly like navigating this area is just so much easier now i'm hoping to turn this area into like i'll bring some of the trees back but i don't know what i'm gonna do with it like in terms of like the layout of it i think i would like to include like some spooky mansions in that area or like maybe some like cool cottages with like some trees and stuff i think would look really nice i'm just not like 100 percent sure how i would decorate that area yet i need to look at people's things online for like motivation to see what other people did with their biomes okay i want to craft the large chest so it takes 25 pieces of dark wood to craft one dark chest. I now have 56, so I can at least craft one or two if I wanted to. I'm only going to craft the one for right now. Because what I want to do is place all my materials in this one. So basically this is going to go exactly where this one currently is. So let's just put this one here. Let's get rid of... Actually, no, hang on. Because I want to move the stuff in between the two chests. I don't want this part, this stuff that's in here to disappear. <laughs> There's no way my luck, everything would just completely disappear. Okay, I need all of this. And all of this stuff is materials that you get from this area. So, like, stuff in the, the valley. All the stuff that I'm going to have in the other biome is going to be stuff I need for my other thing, you know? Okay, hang on. Let me also organize this. Okay. So, I need to put all my sticks and stuff in here. I'm also going to start using the rooms in the castle for storage, but I'm not at that point yet. Because I literally, as you can see, don't have a lot of stuff. I'm still in my early stages. But I need to, like, be mining for, like, coal ore and sticks and other stuff like that um we'll keep the rich soil and then i'm gonna get rid of the other one i can probably just move i don't know if i even need this chest anymore let's just get rid of it for now Okay, it's a lot better. It's ridiculous how many dark pieces of dark wood you need for that, but I'm grateful at least that I now have it. Um, okay, what other... In between doing quests, I'm going to grab materials. I just want to see who else has quests available. Um, okay, I'm done with everything there. Let's just do the other Buzz quest. I don't want to talk to Woody. <laughs> Not going to lie, I don't really care about having him. I like Buzz, but Woody is kind of like, eh, whatever. Um... If I only knew where Buzz was. Let me see. Buzz, Buzz, Buzz. Where'd you go, buddy? Um, it's really the worst thing about this is not knowing where all your characters are. Like, constantly having to look for them is really annoying. Oh, he's in his house. Okay. <laughs> I should have, I should have realized. I don't think I've seen the inside of his RV yet, so let me actually check inside. Beast is hustling somewhere, is he? <laughs> I love Beast. Belle is kind of like, I don't feel like her character really matches who she, oh, of course I left. Um, I feel like Belle's character doesn't actually match who she is from, like, the movie, um, I don't know if that's just me. I feel like the Beast character is, like, on point. But I feel like Belle is a little out of character. Like, whenever I talk to her and, like, you see her interactions, it's it's not, like, I don't know. It doesn't seem authentic enough to me. But, like, I still like her, obviously. No complaints. But, yeah. You know. I, am I love how small he is compared to his RV. You think that it, he, he would at least be the same size as the stuff in here. And Tally, are you ready to confront your first threat as a space ranger cadet? Sure. Um, excellent. And don't worry, Dahlia. It's perfectly normal to be nervous about your first mission. But I'll be right beside you. Now it's time to go confront the sea witch Ursula. I don't know what hostile waters she comes from, but I know she's planning some sort of nefarious scheme. We need to put an end to it before it's too late. No time to lose. Let's go. That's the spirit. Okay, let's go, I guess. Okay, let me just change to his thing. 
Listen to Buzz and Ursula. Okay, let's go. She probably got her dream land, her Disneyland persona on. Honestly, probably. It feels very... I, it's weird to say this because she's a character in a, a video game. She seems very fake compared to other characters. I don't even know if that makes any sense whatsoever, but like to me, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, where is Ursula and where is Buzz? Okay, so Ursula's all the way over there. So am I supposed to like go to Ursula and hope to God that Buzz is with her or... I feel like usually if I come across a character who I'm supposed to overhear their conversations, usually the other character disappears. So, I'm assuming that's what's about to happen. Yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? Uh, wait, where are they? Oh, over there. Ah, uh, tiny, ch tiny child's play thing. No. <laughs> what can I do for you, angelfish? That is so harsh. I am Buzz Lightyear, and I'm here to put an end to your schemes. My schemes? Oh, do tell me more. Oh, this is too funny. I'm here on an authority of the Dreamlight Valley Division of Star Command. Okay. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious, dear. Uh, did you really think that you could scare me? Oh, no. Why, I've seen blobfish who are more intimidating than you. That is so mean. <laughs> oh, poor Buzz. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Run along. Perhaps there's a bunny rabbit you can intimidate. Oh, We'll go, but trust me, this isn't over. Oh, no. I have a very important job. Poor Buzz. <laughs> I feel so bad. He's even smaller than the turtle. Oh, I knew Ursula would be a formidable foe, but this is going to be tougher than I thought. She has no respect for me or for Star Command's authority. We'll need a new strategy, but where to start? I don't know. It's okay, Buzz. I have an idea. You're just got a you just got a PR problem. I can make some Buzz Lightyear leaflets so the uh, Space Rangers are known as a force to be reckoned with. Good thinking. We'll remind people to start commands. Forces are defenders of peace and justice everywhere. Just like the packet package insert says. Oh no. And I just know, no, and I just, ugh. and I know just what you could use to make the leaflets, but you'll have to return to Bonnie's room where we first met. You'll find some playing cards there in Blaze with my likeness. They could be tough to locate, so look everywhere. Gather the cards and report back to me. Of course Roger I have to go back to your realm. That's so fat, sad. He ca she called him a ti a tiny tiles plaything. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the other thing. Toy Story. There we go. Buzz is like, don't be nervous. And then he's like, let's go fight Ursula, the scariest villain ever. I like I said, every time we've watched we played this, the commentary or like the dialogue that they've given the characters to me is so funny. Okay, we need to find three cards. Didn't I say the last time you were here that I was struggling to find things? <laughs> I feel like I'm always looking for things when I'm on stream and I'm like struggling so hard to find them. Oh, so it's meant to be like a little glittery thing. Okay, sounds good. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, okay, now that I know I'm supposed to be looking for something that's glittering, let's look a little bit more. Indirectly. Hmm. Anything over here? I think it's really cute that they let you jump up on the bed. <laughs> it's just like a really cute little finishing touch. I'm assuming one is probably going to be in the closet. This knapsack was not here before. I think. That's so cute. Or maybe it was. I don't know. Oh, wait. Hidden in the books around her room. So, like, would it be like... Oh, I didn't read this specific thing. Uh, okay, where else does she have books in her room? Oh, 
Here's another one. Okay, there's two. Are they in the same type of book? Was the book that was over here the same kind of book? No, they're different books. Okay, where's the third one? Hmm. Why does she have two of the same backpack? <laughs> oh, the third one I'm assuming is right here. Yeah. Like I said, they're so easy to find. I'm just like that oblivious. All right, let's go back. See, that didn't take too long. I'm, I'm, I'm quick. I'm quick to find these things. Not really, but I'm trying. <laughs> okay, Buzz, where'd you go? Buzz is back in his house. He's he's recovering from his interaction with with Ursula. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. He he got served a little bit. He got he got he got told what's what. <laughs> He kind of got told off. I feel a little bit bad. Okay. Let's go to his house. I'm actually really excited now that I've seen other people's things for him. Oh, he's outside of his house. Um, seeing, like, them decorate for his house specifically. Because his house is so perfect for, like, an RV campsite area. Which I think is going to look so cute once I try my own version of it. Um, congratulations on another successful mission, uh -huh. Cadet. You've shown that you can look at resources in an unfamiliar environment. Look how cute Wally is beside him. I cannot. Now, let's see if you can find resources without my assistance. I can't run from my if we're going to hand out Buzz Lightyear leaflets, you'll have to locate sheets of paper to create them. <laughs> I have to locate sheets of paper. Can I just get this from the store? No. Who would have sheets of paper to lend us? I'm going to go with Marlin, of course. He writes a lot for his research. It's always good to have a contact who can handle research and development. I think we'll need more paper than that. I'll check with Mickey and Donald too. I can always count on them. There's nothing more reliable than friends you can rely on. Now, once you have the sheets of paper, combine uh, them with Buzz Lightyear's playing cards. Use. use this adhesive bonding agent, as in glue. Yep, we're looking at glue. Uh, then bring them to me for inspection as soon as you've finished. I love how you can easily do this yourself, but I will take care of it for you. You are welcome. Okay. Um, Merlin, are you at your house? You are not at your house. Are you in the restaurant? Mickey's in his house, so we'll go talk to him. And then Donald is... Okay, Merlin's on the beach. Let's just go to the beach quickly. And then we'll locate Donald, too. I think she held back. Honestly, she truly did. But, like, honestly, what's more insulting to a toy than calling him a, a tiny child's plaything? It's not even that he's a, chi a tiny plaything. He's a tiny child's plaything. Which is honestly very un very demeaning, in my opinion. Hey, Merlin. You're doing quite well. Uh, things, well, they always seem to get more, more magical when you're around. Thank you. Appreciate that. Wait, do I need to search Thank Merlin? You. Oh, I just have to go to their houses. <laughs> I really have to read the instructions on what I'm supposed to be doing for these quests. Because <laughs> clearly I don't know how to read. Okay, let's go. Donald's is the closest. I don't know if anyone's had the Celsius before. The really, I love how we're, like, we're going to borrow paper from their houses. We're literally just going into their houses and ransacking them for paper. We're not even asking them. Like, okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know if anyone's had um, Celsius before. Obviously, I know in the US, they've been around for a long time. But like, they're like an energy drink. Um, so like I said, they only just came here to Canada in like the recent, like last like month or two. There's a bunch of flavors that are still not available in Canada. And I want to try so many different ones that we don't have yet. So far, I've tried literally all the ones that we have here, which are, which was peach, orange, uh, kiwi guava and tropical, which is like a, like another kind of tropical-y like dragon fruit one, I think. Um, and I really, really love the peach and the orange one the most. I didn't like the kiwi one very much, but I want to try, there's like, I think there's a watermelon one that's supposed to be really good. And then like a blueberry or blue raspberry type one. And I love blue raspberry flavor. So I hope that they bring that one too. To Canada eventually. 
We always get things from the States. It just takes us a very long time to get them. Like, months and months and months and months and years. Alright, let's go in here. I love how we're, like, ransacking their houses while they're at home, too. Like, we took something from Donald's house while he was inside, and now we're about to do the same thing for Mickey. Excuse me, Mickey. I'm just going to take this random piece of paper, and I'll leave. <laughs> He's just singing. He doesn't care. He trusts me fully. Like, I could literally ransack his entire house and he'd be like Dahlia's my friend it's fine it's fine okay let's go craft the leaflets and once we're done with this I'm gonna do some just like random um material getting I just want to start like grabbing stuff all right all three there we go all right let's go talk to Buzz I hope he's still over at his house. There he is. Hey there. There you go. Uh, oh. I'll personally deliver one to Ursula. Oh no. How about I take it to Ursula? Um, you're too high rank for a job like this. Smart thinking. Perhaps encountering a cadet instead of an officer will convince her that we don't regard her as a threat. And if intimidation tactics don't scare us, that might be enough to deter her for nefarious. Oh no. Great ways to show those of this cadet. Since you've proven yourself, I'll let you pick two other villagers to help spread the word about Star Command. Uh, I'd, I'll go with Maui and Donald. They're the ones that came to mind. Well, Woody always says, trust your inner voice. I approve. Okay. I'm gonna uh, go take care of that then. Uh, Donald is somewhere. Um, I think Donald's still in his house unless he's now moved. Ursula is in the peaceful meadow. She's over here. Wait, where's she? Oh, she's on the other side. She's over here. Like, she's in the small pond. Hey, guys, do you want this? Here. Take this. There you go. Hello, dear. <laughs> What's this? No. Ugh, you're bothering me about that annoying little creature again? Angelfish, wouldn't it be better if I turned him into something that can't move or talk? A sea? A net? A net? <laughs> I always feel like I'm in, um, what's it called, uh, Finding Nemo when I can't say this word. Anemone, perhaps? Please calm down. Huh? Calm down? I'm the victim in this situation. Yes. Tell me, dearie, would you, what would you do if someone was constantly harassing you simply because of who you were? Um... I'd prove to them I could be nice. Those who see themselves in authority rarely change their mind. Just look at Triton. Oh, but I've known... Uh, I've been playing games this long enough to know what to do. I'll pretend I respect the irritating little plaything. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Let's just go give this to Donald and Maui. I have no idea where he is. I will find him. I hope Donald's still inside because I did not check. I'm just assuming. Just assuming. He's not. <laughs> That's what I get for assuming. I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, let's go find him. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's try to talk to him without without going into his house. No, I don't want to enter. I want to talk. I want to talk. I want to talk to Donald. I want to talk to Donald. Ooh, I dropped him. Donald, please don't fall. There we go. There you go. Take this, please. Thank you. Huh? What's this? A bunch of funny pictures of Buzz? It's a Buzz Lightyear leaflet. I'm trying to spread word about all of his most daring feats, like his many heroic rescue missions. Well, I bet he hasn't done anything as brave as helping me get out of the dark grove. Since you do that for me, and since you obviously need some help, I'll tell everybody about Buzz and his space rangers. <laughs> Thanks, Donald. Okay. And we need Maui, who is right over here. God bless. Play. Thank you, thank you, hello. Take this. He's gonna make fun of how small he is, isn't he? What's this? I got a bunch of pictures on it. Um, oh, I've met this guy. It's that little fella, Buzz. It's a Buzz Lightyear, uh, Buzz Lightyear leaflet. It tells us the legend of Buzz Lightyear in Star Command. Um, you last of the sun, he escaped a fury in the oh. <laughs> Gotta respect that. 
but if I never heard of this star command, it can't be very well known. Legend. I get it. It's not easy to build a legend when you're just starting out. You always need help to get your stories around. Tell you what, I'll help you spread the legend of Buzz Lightyear in star command. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, then we have to go obviously talk to Buzz, because what else is new? I swear this game was just like talking to a character, running away, talking to a character, running away. Which, like, I love this game, but it's a little repetitive. Where did Buzz go now? Oh. <laughs> At first, I'm like, is he so small I can't see him? No, he's now inside. Alright, let's go in. I'm sorry, I'm looking at my phone. One second. Okay. The way that Buzz does his little thingy is so cute. Oh my god. Okay. Hello. Mission accomplished, cadet. Peace has been restored to the valley, and from what I hear, Maui and Donald have already started spreading the good word about Star Command. And Ursula seems to have gotten the message. I've had no reports of any schemes by her. Uh, glad I could be of service. Thanks, Dahlia. I'll let you know if I find new missions for us. You You're welcome. Style. That was incredibly easy. Okay, I'm now just gonna start doing some collecting. Just like random, you know, like chopping. I was gonna say chopping trees. You don't chop trees in this game. <laughs> My brain is on Animal Crossing. I don't know why. I don't know why. But I'm gonna do like some like collecting and things. I wanna see what I need to do with requests. Because I actually haven't even been looking at the duties for the Star Command things. So I still have to do the Dream Sap, so I'll have to do that the next time. Uh, hang out with a blue and purple villager. I'm assuming that's Sully, so I guess we can hang out with him. Give a magical matron her favorite kiss. I'm assuming that is... Um, what's her face from Tangled? The DJ thing is, like, really annoying because there's a lot of stuff you have to... Pick the palest of blooms. What is that? Oh, like, white flowers, I'm assuming. Um, and be on guard while you catch this fish. So I'm guessing it's supposed to be a swordfish. Okay, let's go talk to Sully just so I can have him around while we're doing our stuff. And then we can go about our business. Um, let's see where he is. Do, do, do. Of course he's not in his house or anywhere near his house. Where is he? Sully, where are you? Are you planning on getting the new Princess Peach game when it comes out? I am, actually. I really shouldn't be because I don't need to be getting another game right now, but I'm really excited for that game, so I will be buying it and I will be playing it. I'll probably do, like, a first impressions stream or video of some kind, I'm sure. It comes out on the 22nd, right? I saw that people were playing the demo. I was, like, interested in, in playing the demo, but I kind of want to be fully, like... Okay, where is Sully? I kind of want to be, like, fully surprised when it comes out. Let's just see. Is he in the valley right now? Yeah. I'm guessing he's in the... The store, maybe? Or the restaurant? I saw Mike was in the restaurant, so maybe he's, he's at Remy's. Let's see, let's see. This would be the perfect day. If so, I'm stealing him from his dinner. But what about you? Are you going to get the Princess Peach game? I'm thinking of getting it too, but I'm not very good at games that require skills, so I'm concerned I'll have trouble playing it. I'm the same. I'm not really good at um, a lot of... Um, it's just like some games road. like that. But I think it'll be so really fun. I love Peach, so I think it would be very, very exciting to play that. Oh, wait. Um... I'm not at friendship level 2 with you yet? What? Okay, let me... I haven't done any of his things yet. I've only done Sully's. Let's see if I make... If I can make him a fish pie and get him enough... Points to hang out with him. I don't have butter. <laughs> of course I don't. I really like all of her outfits, so I want it. Oh yeah, it's a very, very cute game. Like, it looks like it'll be tons of fun to play. The only th other thing I'm concerned about is the amount of hours you'll get in playtime because I'm tired of buying games that, like, I'll play, like, two or three times and then I'm, like, bored or everything's too repetitive to the point where, like, I don't want to continue playing it. So that's, like, one thing I'm a little bit concerned about. I'm just afraid that the game will be not, like, I don't know, 
difficult enough to enjoy. Obviously, the game is supposed to be for, like, younger, not younger audiences, but, like, meant that kids can play it too. So, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. But I have been, I have been excited for it since the game was first, um, talked about. I'm going to have you help me with fishing. Sure. Do you want to hang out with me? <laughs> of course, what is it about? Um, have I told you about Monster Movie Night? What I'm saying, of course, I haven't. I just remembered it myself. It's pretty simple. Mike and I used to pick one of those monster movies you humans love to make, and we watch it with all of our friends. That sounds like it could be fun. It was. Even the movie, even if the movie was bad, we always had a great time. I used to rent the movies from Mr. McDuck, but when I went to the uh. store, there weren't any videos to rent. What did Mr. McDuck say? Nothing. Oh. Uh, he was with another customer. Oh. <laughs> Mr. McDuck always looked so busy. I didn't want to bother him. Oh. He's never busy when it comes to friends or business. I'll go ask him. That would be great. Thanks, Dahlia. No problem. Can you come with me, though? Because I need to um, spend time with you. So, even though I wasn't supposed to do another thing, um, let's hang out. Let's go. So, might as well do this while we complete his quest. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's go. Oh, he's right here. Perfect. Um, let me just put his thing on. I feel like once you start talking to a new villager for their quest, it should immediately be the thing that's, like, on the top of the screen. You know? Where'd he go? He just walked away. My god. Good day to you. Hi, hello. Monster uh -huh. movie night. Ah, uh, Dahlia, what can I do for you? I'm helping Sully bring back something called Monster Movie Night. He was wondering where you, you where your rental videotapes went. Hmm, I did see him looking around the shop earlier. Well, now you know what he's looking for. Why didn't he just ask me? Sully didn't want to bother you. Nonsense. I'm always here for my customers, especially the paying ones. As for the tapes, I'm afraid I cannot offer that service anymore. How come? Because I was always having to choose the villagers. Wait. Having to chase down the villagers to get them back, eventually I decided to cut my losses. <laughs> I suspect some villagers still have tapes from before the forgetting, and if I remember correctly, one of them would be perfect for the monster movie night. 20,000 giant arachnids under the seat, under the bed. That's terrifying. That is terrifying. I don't remember exactly who it was, but it was either Ursula, Mickey, or Goofy. Hmm. Though I do recall whoever rented it did have a special occasion for a special someone. I'm guessing I'll have to etch each of them until I find out who it is. Thanks, Mr. McDuck. So I'm guessing because it was for a special someone, it's probably Mickey. But who knows for sure. Mickey, you're right here. Do you have the videotape? Hi, Adalia. How can I help you today? Mickey, do you remember Monster Movie Night? Oh boy, do I. Minnie used to love monster movies, especially the scary ones. Right before the forgetting, I even organized a screening of one just for her. So you do have the thing. Uh-oh, now that I think about it, did I forget to bring the videotape back? It was right around the time the strange things started happening around the valley. Mr. McDuck says a lot of the tapes didn't get returned. Just tell me where you left it, and I'll go look for it. Thanks, pal. Let me think. Well, it was somewhere dark and deep on Dazzle Beach. I remember I had a screen set up there with a scary atmosphere. Oh, like a treasure hunt. I love it. <laughs> well then, happy hunting, Dahlia. Thanks. Appreciate that. Okay. Um, find the videotape in a deep, deep and dark place on the beach. Like, in a cave or something? What? Okay. He sends that you're about to ask for a favor and he booked it. He really did. That sounds like an Ursula movie. It does, but apparently, I guess Mickey and Minnie are huge monster movie fans. Um, deep and dark. Like, the Skull Tavern? Or the Skull Cave? Or is it in the Underground Cave? I'm guessing Underground Cave. Why are all of these characters in the Underground Caves today? Like, what is going on? I'm guessing it's in here. What were you doing there, Mickey? Honestly... I have many questions. I'm assuming it's down here. Like, unless I'm overthinking it. I 
I have not been here since like earlier parts of the game, so I legitimately don't even remember. Yep, here it is. Uh -huh. Oh, I have to dig it. I have to dig it up. There we go. <laughs> Here's your videotape. <laughs> oh my god, why was it down in a Way cave? Oh, Dally, you found it. This really means a lot. Ooh. Thanks, pal. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I guess next I gotta find some snacks, find a big screen TV, and invite some folks. Let me handle the making of the big screen TV. It sounds like you have a lot on your plate. Yeah, usually when Mike handles the snacks, but I want to surprise him this time. Aw, that's sweet. If you want to craft us a big screen TV, you're gonna need to gather a few materials first. Some fiber, soft wood, and glass. Of course. Of course I would. And I have next to no glass. I have the other two, but we need 10 things of glass, so I need a lot of sand. Okay. This is my problem. Apparently I need to start mining for sand and dark wood. That's my, that's my two, the two things I, I guess I need to focus mo more on. I wish I had made Sully good with finding things in the, in the sand, but it's too late for that now. We had place for a date night. He made many walk all those stairs in those he in those shoes. I think he doesn't res understand just how painful women's heels can be. But it's the thought that counts, I suppose. Okay, let me just over here. I don't think there was another thing for sand. No, there wasn't. Okay, let's go over here. All right, now we're about to do exactly like what I did the other night, which is just dig until we get a bunch of sand. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I really should... I think the only person I have that is that has the um, dig thing in this entire game so far is Ariel. So I think I might have to use her for this, but I need to hang out with Sully, so... Oh, well. Oh, my God. Look how cute he is. I freaking love the beast. His little his little wave is so cute. I don't want to play Scramble Coin. Or scram yeah, I don't want to play Scramble Coin with you. I'm so sorry. And Minnie, I need you to walk away. Don't ask me to play Scramble Coin. And Dahlia, would you like to play a game of Scramble Coin? Does it look like I want to play a game right now? I am busy. Busy. They don't understand. They don't understand how hard I work. How much did I get so far? Not a lot. We got 10. We need like, I think like 50 pieces of sand. Give or take. Okay, I appreciate all the coins I'm getting. This is not what we're looking for. And I appreciate the pebbles too, but I don't need pebbles. I need sand. The other thing I hate is that after you finish, you have to dig up the, um, what do they call the holes? Like, eventually they disappear, but it takes, like, several days for them to fully go away. And, like, who wants this eyesore on their beach, you know? Now we have 17. This is going very slow. Wish there was another way to get sand. But there's not. Which is why I understand people who've been playing this game since the beginning have hoarded all of their materials. Because why wouldn't you when it's this complicated to get stuff? back to my house quickly. I'm just going to replenish my energy and then we'll eat some food and go back. And then after this, I'm not doing any more quests. 
I think we've, we've done like, I think about five quests today, which is pretty good. But honestly, I just want to kind of do like some more chill, less like jumping from this place to that place to this place to that place for the rest of the day. You know? Okay, those are all still watered. Very good. It's ridiculous that it takes four hours of real time for pumpkins to grow. Like, this game really... Ooh, why, <laughs> why did I just jump to the same place? Oh my god. This game really said, like, enjoy spending an insane amount of time wasting away waiting for the materials and things that you need. This game is about a lot of patience. Thankfully, I'm a very patient person. Typically. Not all the time. Typically, though. And anyone who's just joining in, welcome. I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday night, Thursday, wherever it is for you. And I'm just chilling and playing some Dreamlight Valley. And if you are enjoying, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new here. I haven't said that once all stream. I get very lazy when it comes to promoting myself. So if you are enjoying the content and you enjoy just like casual low energy relaxing gameplay then feel free to subscribe and make sure to like the stream if you're enjoying and now i'm going to have to dig all this up oh i have to eat hang on um we'll just have the one for now i have to like clean up after myself in between digging up stuff because i don't like leaving the giant holes in the dirt it looks ugly I saw this one person, another creator was watching, like, I was getting, like, inspo for how they were decorating, like, their beaches, and one person did this, like, amazing pathing using the stones on their beach, like, they used actual, they used a mix of, like, actual dropped pebbles and stones with, like, this particular, um, tile that they got as Scrooges, and it looks so good. And, like, one area I've not been too excited for for decorating once I start decorating this is my, um, my beaches. So, like, to see someone actually decorate the beach, and it looks so pretty. It still looked very natural, but it just had this beautiful, like, tropical, overgrown vibe to it. It was, it was really nice to see. It was really nice to see. There's a lot of really amazing creative people in this, um, this community, and I'm excited to see what, like, I can come up with obviously i'll just still be like looking to other creators for inspo as i still struggle to like figure out how to decorate but i definitely think that um it's gonna be fun kind of figuring out my own way around the decorating for this game because it is definitely interesting especially if you play on the switch because the controls are definitely a little bit more difficult than if you're playing on pc or even like xbox and ps5 i've seen or ps4 or whatever it's played on I've seen some people say that it's a little bit of a struggle. The PC looks the easiest because it's very click. Everything's clickable with the mouse, but with the Joy-Cons, it's a little bit more of a struggle. I like that beaches are a struggle to decorate no matter what game. Yeah. I will say I really do like how the beaches on my Jungle City Island turned out. Like, I really kept them simple in the end with, like, just, like, trees and, like, a lot of, um... What are they called? The the garden um, rocks and wheat fields. But then I did like a couple of like cool areas with like the fishing items and stuff. It was actually not too hard to actually decorate the beaches for that island because it was a very much more simple concept versus some other island themes I've had where like trying to figure out how to decorate my beaches have been such a pain in the ass because like there are some island themes that like it doesn't make sense to decorate the beaches like there's no correlation for like decorating your beaches that have to do with like whatever theme you're doing but like you can still obviously decorate your beaches however you want in the end like if you want to do a city island and then you want to fully decorate your beaches in like more city like areas then good for you i've seen some amazing builds on islands like that i'm just Personally, when it comes, like, if I'm doing city core, I'm more likely ignoring my beaches. <laughs> the only time I've made that exception is when I did my tropical city, and that's because I 
the beaches were such a like important part of the theme that it just made sense to decorate my my beaches you know but typically I'm like eh, I'm lazy I did my beaches on my last island but I'm probably not gonna force myself to finish them on this one I like to alternate fair enough I don't think I did my beaches on my pastel kid court island I'm pretty sure I didn't and I don't think I did them for my small um, fall town I don't think I did it for either but then I just did it for my most recent one like my jungle city and then probably for my western town maybe I'll do a couple of areas but I won't force myself um, and also it is a town that's set in the fall so it's okay if I don't but with my new theme that we're going to be restarting this week, um, considering it is going to be a summer island, I probably will be decorating my beaches. And some people who have seen, like, inspo for this particular theme, like, some people have seen, like, when I was looking at some inspo for some of the, um, I, uh, what's it called, like, design codes I wanted to use, I see a lot of people were decorating their, um, their beaches, and I was like, okay, yeah, no, that looks really good. So... If I can find enough inspo, then maybe I'll decorate all of my beaches. Or maybe I might just do, like, a couple of areas if it, like, matches, like, the particular theme or area that I'm working on, you know? Oh, yeah, it's definitely more easier when it's, like, random. What was nice about the fact that it was, like, abandoned, too, is that, like, I could put, like, a bunch of trash items and then kind of call it a day. And because it was jungle with, like, that tropical undertone, using a lot of the fishing items just, like, made sense. So I was able to incorporate, like, a lot of, like, shack areas with, like, the um, fish drying racks. And, and like, I, I think I used, like, a ton of the fish, um, the fishing crates and stuff, too. It just, it made sense for, like, the the area. I thought that Remy was my, my rabbit for a second. I'm like, why are you, why are you here? Go away, Remy, please. How much do we have now? 43. I'm almost, I think I need at least 50 to get, um, 10 things of glass. Cause I think five things of glass is, or one, five things of sand is one thing of glass or three, one of the two, but I'm almost done. I think I remember when I first started playing this game, my biggest, like, thing I was the scaredest over was the fact that, like, there's so much time that goes into just farming for materials that that fear has never gone away. <laughs> like, when I have a particular quest that requires me to have, like, this certain item and I have zero and it, I know it's going to take me, like, a good 30 minutes of just, like, mining or fishing to get whatever I need... It, I, I sometimes do just close my game. Maybe I'll spend like 10 or 15 minutes on it and I'm like, eh, I'll come back to this later. It's okay. Okay, I'm trying to get rid of the... I'm trying to get rid of the holes, not dig more. Wow, what an amazing day. <laughs> All the random like little spots of the digging. There's no, like, organization for this whatsoever. Okay, let me just dig these up, and then we can go craft. I think that's all we needed. Hopefully that's enough. And then probably tonight or tomorrow, I'm going to do some mining for, or some digging for some more ah, sand away from you guys. Because, like, how entertaining is watching me dig up sand? <laughs> Truly, like, how, how entertaining is that? I don't even think about this. Can you get sand from Kristoff's um, thing? Because I know you can't get dark wood, which I think is re really unfair. The fact that they gave you an opportunity to be able to, like, buy materials from someone. And then they're like, oh, yeah, no, but the... I need one more. <laughs> I need one more thing of sand. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. I should. I knew that it was five. Okay, we need one more. One more thing of sand. Yeah, I'm scared to get this game because I think I'm going to get so bored of looking for materials. I know I'm making it sound like it's a hassle. It actually is a lot of fun. 
and don't let me saying this deter you from getting it because ultimately I've had more fun playing this game than I've had playing any other game in a really long time. Like I think I have in the last two weeks since I started playing this game almost exclusively from like Animal Crossing or other games, I have put over 100 hours into it, like probably well over 100 hours now. I think it was at like a hundred and something hours when I first started replaying it more like consistently and now I'm over 200 and like 20 or 30 hours so I've played over 100 hours in the past two weeks which just shows that I have nothing else to better do to do with my time but I swear it is really really fun And also, I'm like a bad example of someone who sells everything that she gets and I don't keep my materials. So my recommendation is just to hoard everything you get and then just sell your like fish and like other like your gems and stuff. But even keep like some of the gems and fish too. <laughs> so really just keep everything in the beginning. Uh, do I want to give this to you? Yes, I do. Here you go. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my god. Would you look at that? It's amazing, Dahlia. Mm. I can't wait for Monsters Movie Night to start again. Now, the only thing missing is Mike's famous snack mix. Oh, and I've got to invite some villagers. Maybe we should ask Mike for help. You still sound, uh, you sound overwhelmed, and I'm sure he'll be a surprise. You're right. Mike might take it personally if someone else brings a snack mix. Could you go ask him? You got it. I'll surprise Mike and ask him to get the snacks ready. I love how you're, like, inviting him to this thing, but then he, you're like, you can provide the snacks, though. It's like BYOB, but bring your own snacks. Oh, you're right here. Hello. Hey, got a minute? Hey, Dahlia, what's shaking? Sully is bringing back Monster Movie Night. Surprise! Oh. Sully's doing what? Woo! Oh, Woo! I remember. Monster Movie Night. That's great yes, news. Yes, yes. Imagine that wasn't actually a thing and Sully was just making it up. Let me guess, he needs me to make my famous snack mix. He always burns it. It's like you're reading my mind. Let me guess, it's just popcorn? Is there a batch waiting for me already? No, it's better fresh. I'll take care of it. Oh, I'm so excited. Monster Movie Night was the best. You can tell Sully I'll bring the snacks. No problem. Quick question, Dahlia. Are you planning to go to Monster Movie Night dressed like that? What's wrong with my outfit? My outfit's cute. Why does everyone keep criticizing me? Nothing per se, but a cozy movie night with pals. You want to be relaxed and in monster yeah. spirit. Oh, you know uh, what Sully would love? Mm. If you put on something blue and paired a pair of scarier slippers, he'll really make him feel appreciated. I don't Get have... Wait, around? Right? Yeah? No? Hello? What if I don't have a blue casual top and... Okay, I might need these things. <laughs> I might need to go buy these things. I don't think I have anything. <laughs> I've seen Sully slippers in Scrooges, like the little slippers with his feet. I haven't bought them yet. And they're not here today, so I don't I don't I don't have them. Where is sorry Sully. Where is where is Scrooge? Scrooge, please come here. Hello. I have a question. Can I order something from you, please? Um, let's order no. Okay. I need to talk to you. Hmm? Ah. Okay. <laughs> Hello. I like to order some items. Clothing. Okay. I need this. I need why is why are you being difficult? <sighs> okay, I will order this. I don't know why it's making me do this one at a time. Um, wait, hang on. Clothing. Pants. Clothing. Ten thousand for the frickin' slippers? Fine. Ten thousand. This better be the best movie night ever. 
He's big. He's talking big for a naked guy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I did I buy the things? I did. Okay. Um. Let's change, I guess. And take off the. I hate when you change into sh like a, a pants or a shirt, or whatever. It keeps you in a skirt. Like why? And then let's take off my cardigan. Where is coats? Take off that. I'll keep my hat on. Why not? All right, return to Sully. There we go. What'd Mike say? He loved the surprise, and he said he'll bring a batch of snack mix. Then the only thing left to do is place the big screen scream TV. You know the valley best. Would you mind placing the setup in a good watching moving spot? I'd be honored. Thank you. No, thank you. We used to drop the big screen TV outside my house and plop down some comfortable chairs. But please, pick any location you like. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, there's not a lot of exciting places to put this, so we're putting it literally outside. <laughs> when I was doing other quests for other characters, I thought that once you put something down for, like, their specific quest, it stayed there. So, like, the first couple times, I was, like, very particular about where I placed something down, but they always disappear afterwards. So, it literally does not matter where you put anything in this game. Everything will eventually get moved. Let's just put it right here. Yeah, yeah. Right here. Perfect, there we go. Oh, how cute. Look at Minnie going, I'm coming. <laughs> I want to be a part of this. <laughs> and Scar. Okay, Scar, you're ruining the photo. Why is is the number one question. Okay. <laughs> Minnie, you ruined the photo. Uh, Dolly, Monster Movie Night 2.0 was a success. Everybody had fun, and they felt great to get back into the swing of things. Thank you for all your help, pal. I, uh, I wanted you to have this. Let me guess. The TV I built? Thank you. It's the big stream TV. Now you can host movie nights whenever you want. Thanks again, Dahlia. Let's talk soon. I've been thinking of some ways to help out around here. Thank you so much for all your help. And now I have $10,000 slippers. Which are actually kind of cute. I wish I could see them better up close. But they're cute. They're cute. They, they got the job done. But I want to put my dress back on. I thought I was much cuter before. Um, dress, 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 dress. See, all of my dresses are like the... Actually, this one's cute with it too. But all these dresses are like the gowns. I want like cute little like cottagey dresses like this one. But not this one specifically. I have it in pink too. But it's not like... I don't know. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. I want something a little bit more fancy. I got this one today. And this one is the Cinderella dress, which is cute. But I like this. We'll keep, <laughs> we'll keep the stupid slippers on. But that's that's it. Okay. How much longer do I have to hang out with Silly? Uh, five more minutes. Okay. Let me do a couple more like random like material tasks and we'll probably wrap up stream in a couple of minutes. We've already been streaming for two hours. So we've done a nice stream, little, little short, little baby stream tonight, but it was still fun. Still fun. I'm sorry. My phone died. No worries, Rika. No worries. <laughs> I thought that you can see the slippers underneath. No judging, okay? Sometimes it's, it's just comfortable to walk around in slippers. Honestly, the amount of people I see in real life walking around with slippers as real shoes. Like, no one's allowed to judge me for wearing my little monster slippers. They're cute, and they get the job done. I'm trying to remember, did I put Sully as the fishing thingy? I think I did. I'm going to go back to the Forgotten Lands quickly just to get more of the dry wood. Um, Forgotten Lands. 
And what we're probably going to be doing tomorrow, like I said, I'll probably be streaming during the day tomorrow. Or not probably. I will be streaming during the day tomorrow. My thoughts are it's going to be a stream of just, like, material grinding. Like, as boring as that sounds, I would like you guys to keep me company as I just grind for materials. Like, just spending tons of time grabbing that. And then maybe doing some brainstorming for my first build. I think my first build that I'm going to do in my valley will probably be like a, a speed build video kind of thing. Kind of similar to Animal Crossing where like I just build the video and show you guys and kind of talk what I did. But maybe talking through some ideas would be fun and kind of like just getting some stuff organized because I'm really disorganized. Look, that gave me 12 dry wood and only 5 dark wood. Sometimes it's like not the best. But this is giving me so much more wood than I was getting before with all the trees around. Something else I'm going to probably do is get rid of like a ton of my um, material, like a ton of like my trees and stuff in some areas of the valley just to kind of start clearing some stuff up. I don't want to fully get rid of everything, but I start, I think, organizing and like getting some areas a little bit more clean could like be a good starting off point for wanting to decorate more in the future. I didn't realize how big the Forgotten Lands were until I got rid of all the trees. <laughs> Best part of the full-length gown, nobody can see your comfy slippers. That is very true. It's kind of like wearing like um, Converse with a with like a prom dress. No one can see it. No one can see it. Okay, let's go back to the house. Recharge. Oop. Okay, wrong way. See, what I have to do is, like, get rid of all of the pathing that's already been placed. Like, that's been completely destroyed with like all of the plants and everything that have already like grown in different areas so i have to get rid of all of that and like kind of just like from what i've come to realize when it comes to this game like from what i've seen other people say the best way to start decorating your valley in any way shape or form is just to kind of clean the area off and kind of like not start from the beginning but like getting rid of a lot of the basic pathing that the game originally came with. Like, so all of this has to go. Oh, okay. We've hang out, hung out with you for, for enough time. Um, get some time to talk. Mm, too busy. Sorry. Later, yeah. later, later, later. Um, later. I just, I don't want to. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna finish here then. We got the, we got the quest thing. That's, that was the important part. Let me... Just get that. I've also used like basically all of my tokens for stuff. I'm just trying to get through everything. I think I got everything on this one and on this one. Seven of seven, so completed, completed. I need one more thing here. Oh, I need the face paint thing here. So that's the last thing I needed there. So that's all done. We still have 34 days left of this. So I've been like really grinding. I still need to get this. Let's grab you. So that one's finished too. So I only need this one. So I need to get, no, this one will finish. So I just need to get the monster plushie and this. And then everything else I have, I'll be able to get the rest of the moonstones once the thing is over. But yeah, I, we, did, we did quite a bit today. I'm, I'm happy with what we accomplished. I mean, obviously we did more more story than anything else, but I think we accomplished quite a bit and I'm very, very happy with what we did. So, Dolly, are you drinking something? Yes, I am. I'm having an energy drink right now. But yeah, I guess we will wrap up stream here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this very chill, laid back, casual stream uh, with me. I'm loving stream, streaming Dream My Valley and I hope you guys are enjoying the new content as well. Make sure to like the stream if you haven't already and subscribe if you're new here. And yeah, I will be back probably tomorrow. Like I said, I'll post the stream link for tomorrow afternoon. It'll be like an earlier like 12 or 1 p.m. stream. 
But yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Mike, please move. I'm trying to finish my stream. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Bye, Becca. Bye, Rika. I hope you guys both have a great rest of your night. And I will see you all in the next stream. Bye, everyone.